Welcome to the Pope on Film. I am Bunny Williams, and with me is... Reverend Steve, I am the founder of the Church of Ed Wood, father of five kids, a retail manager, I guess you can say, lover of fine cheeses, and uneducated cheeses, <laughs> cultured cheeses, slutty cheeses, big fan of cheese, and... This is episode 136 of the podcast. Very proud of that. And yeah. just right off the bat, just right off the bat, right here in the beginning, I've got a script, like a nine page long script of various funny things and hilarious segments. And we're going to be playing a game and talking about McDonald's and Disney. We're going to be talking about a 1965 Beach Monster musical. We're going to be talking about uh, Chip and Joanna Gaines, which is going to be weird. Okay. We're going to be talking about King Kong and Loki and Nick Fury and John Goodman and reboots. But right from the beginning, I, I didn't think that this was something that needed to be said. I thought that this was just a given. I thought that this was something that right. you didn't have to say because everybody uh, already agrees with it. That everyone believes this, this same thing. I didn't think that this was something controversial right. or something that I needed to say. But, hey, we condemn Nazis. Good Lord. Apparently, this is something... And, you and, I'm, and I'm sorry, I still favor fucking punching Nazis. I, yes. am, I am tired yes. of this Nazi sympathizer bullshit. You know, these people that are showing up in threads. Oh, I hate Nazis. Hate, 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 hate. And then go on with a whole fucking string of alt-right arguments. Yeah. yeah. Bullshit, it's, you fucking troll. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's sad. Mm -hmm. I feel that I, I, I wish that every white person in America could feel the way that I felt the day that I realized that Nazis were marching on the street. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I mean, there are, yeah, sure. There's a lot of people that, that, that hate Nazis, but it's a completely different thing when you're a minority. It, it, it's, it's yes, Bella. Illuminati. No, yes. Illuminati. Illuminati. They are in control of the planet. Uh, yes, Bella, you're interrupting me. It's okay, usually I'm a it's, Nazi. Usually, it's Maxwell that's interrupting me. But but why did you interrupt me, Bella? Did you have something you wanted to say? Something important you wanted to share? Oh, it's okay. a little Nazi. Okay. Well, you interrupted my Nazi spiel. Now I was actually getting kind of serious getting into a serious conversation about race and you just like you got it and you just bashed it you just threw it to the floor Bella. that was on a roll <laughs> and you just come in with a funny pronunciation I appreciate that you're trying to help but god damn it I'm just see I'm just getting derailed and now Nazis there are Nazis yes and white power, neo-Nazi, and they love our president. Yes, yes, and the president came to his defense, came to their defense by saying that it was like the left and the evil alt left that that was actually yeah. No, Eleanor, you can't have my podcast. I don't know why you want my podcast Eleanor. notes all the time, but you can't have my podcast notes. The thing is, is that the ones who are defending a synagogue, yeah, they're just as bad. Yeah, the thing that's what do you do? You want your water bottle? Is that what you want? No, you said no. Jesus, I then there's nothing up here for you. There, there's nothing up here. Thank you. What do you want? There's nothing up here for you. Do you want this? No, I, I, Eleanor, you can talk now. Is 
Is this what you want? You don't want that either. Well, there's nothing up here. Here, let me pick you up, Eleanor, so you can see. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Eleanor, what do you want? You want this? No. No, you, no, you can't have my water. You have a, a, a water bottle right there. You can have that, okay? Kids are interrupting my anti-Nazi rant. Yeah. The, the thing is, is that extreme groups like this, like the KKK and white supremacists and Nazis and all that, what they... Eleanor, what do you want? What do you want? There's nothing up here for you. What do you want? Do you want this? No. Okay. Then, then here, get down. Take that. There you go. It's, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, Jesus. See? I'm having a hard time podcasting here. Anna dropped, Anna dropped the thing. Tablet? The tablet, yeah. It's called a tabby name. God damn it. Eleanor. You kids have thrown me for a loop. I just started the show. <laughs> Jesus, kids. Eleanor. Don't yell at Eleanor. <laughs> what, what these extremist groups do is they go in to the public and they say the most angry, hateful things imaginable, but they do not attack first. They want you to attack first mm -hmm. so that they can point themselves out as the victim. And most people say, okay, well, that's a, a stupid thing and it doesn't work because no one's stupid enough to believe that, but apparently our fucking president is. Yeah. So our president now well, is there like, is well, There is ample evidence... That. First off, in this particular case, there is ample evidence that the fucking alt-right started first. Yeah. There is yeah. plenty of it. So what are you supposed to do? Just stand there and fucking get hit? Yeah. That's not happening, people. That is not happening. No, stay on your side of the street, most definitely. Always let them bring the fight to you. Okay? But when they do, defend the living fuck out of yourself. Uh, uh, it's a bit of a crazy day today. The kids had their first day of school oh. today. Not sure why on a Thursday, but whatever. That's it's something. Because the first two days, you get your syllabi, this syllabus, syllabus, succubus, succubus. You get your succubus. You get your succubus. You get your lockers. You get instructions. You get to know the teacher. You get to know the other students. The second day, more of the same. And then Monday, you get down to the nitty gritty. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I've already been to school two days, and literally, I my teacher was like, "Yeah, we're not doing much, of nothing today." And then we discovered the one guy in my math class who doesn't like bacon, and almost right it. Oh wow, Maxwell's behavior was excellent today, and he's gonna have cheeseburgers for lunch tomorrow. Nice. So that's oh, yes, good. The calendars. Uh, he's going, it, Maxwell's going into a new school, uh, this year. He's going to a public school that's right next to, near our house. And it's a school that Bella went to for how long? How long was she at? Fourth, uh, third, fourth, and fifth, I think. So Bella was there for three years. Now she's moved on to the junior high school, but... I'm really upset that Maxwell is starting this school so early because uh, Bella would do things like forget her glasses or forget some paper that she needed to bring. The it was usually the glasses. She would forget she them. Just learning to wear glasses. Yeah, she was just learning to wear glasses. So I would have to go sometimes and bring her her glasses. Uh -huh. And whenever I would go to the school with Natasha, this. This it, it was this that gave me the idea for a, for a DWP, a designated white person. Yes. Yes, that gave you the idea, honey. Sorry. <laughs> Everybody is out to get this podcast today. 
Yeah. So it, when I would go to the school with Natasha, oh, they would let us in. They would treat us super nice. If Natasha went to like drop something off to Bella, oh my God, here, come in. Uh, this is the, oh yeah, sure. Here, let me call Bella to the office and you can give them to her. When I would go by myself, they wouldn't even let me into the school. Yeah. And this happened repeatedly over and over again. And while I'm out there trying to tell them that I have business in the school, they're easily letting in like six foot five creepy looking men in all camouflage in a pickup truck that are probably carrying one or two weapons on them yeah. because they're weak. They were easily let in, but it's the the Mexican who's like, hey, we'll have someone come out there and meet you, okay? I'm pretty sure they would have let the entire alt-right in. Yeah. Before yeah. they would have let my husband in before by they, himself. They would have let me in. Mm -hmm. So when Bella was on, I'm like, yes, I don't have to go back to that school anymore. And now Maxwell's at that school, and I'm like, god damn it. God <laughs> Yeah. Freaking damn it. And in fact, I'm almost positive that we've had similar conversations on the podcast about this. Like, if you went back, yeah. you'd yeah. probably we, be able to find it. We've, we've discussed it before, but it's time to discuss it again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've got schmutz in my hair. Okay. That's great. Okay. She wants. Anything else? No, no, no. I think we should take the Nazi rant from the top. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I interrupt your Nazi rant? You interrupted the Nazi rant. Uh, Maxwell interrupted the Nazi I rant. Interrupted uh, Bella interrupted the Nazi rant. Uh, Eleanor, Eleanor interrupted. She oh, wanted a bunch of interrupt. things on the table, and it's like, I don't know what you want. Maybe, uh, maybe the Nazi rant. No, Maxwell's here. Thing. Hi, Maxwell. I no. was going to record a special episode, but I was just too it, upset. It, it would be its own special episode. thing. <laughs> yeah. I was going to record a special episode, and then freaking Nazis happen, and that's just complete. Like it's been difficult for me to to continue working forty one hours a week and doing all the things that I do when I know that like the Nazis, like the KKK are back, the Nazis are back, the president is supporting these groups, yes. and yet there are still republicans that are like well i don't agree with him but tax cuts so yay president trump for yeah. finally speaking out in favor of fucking nazis mm -hmm. what the hell eleanor you have everything what more do you want what do you want what do you want you you can't have the tablet you can't have my podcast notes you can't have my water what do you want do you, do you here's your here's your sippy cup she just screams and screams and screams. Anyway, I've been very upset. I've been yes. very upset. I don't these blame past, you. These past couple of weeks. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do what I can, but there's not much I can do. Yeah. But, you know, I'm trying to stand my ground and whatever, but it's 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 just sad. Mm -hmm. And and there are still people that are coming out and saying, well, you know, yes, I was at that rally, but I'm not I'm not some white nationalist. I'm not yeah. the angry racist person people think. And then you see the Vice documentary where people are chanting like Jews will not replace us mm -hmm. and carrying angry torches. And then it's like and bringing you fucking see, guns. Yeah, to their guns. peaceful rally and yeah. shields. They found yeah. caches of weapons all around the yeah. fucking park. Yeah. So. What they were setting up for was a bloodbath. Yeah. And so you want no me not to hit them back. Yeah. Fuck you in there's, the ass. But there's no situation in which you see. A man with a, a, a Nazi flag and Ku Klux Klan members with shields and weapons chanting racist things and saying, how did I accidentally get here? Yes. <laughs> There's no situation in which you see uh, 
angry white power people with weapons saying we need to get rid of all the blacks and gays. And then you mm -hmm. say, well, I don't believe in what they're saying, but I want this statue to stay up. Yeah. So I'm going to stay here right next to these guys. Mm -hmm. It's like if I went to like a Lucha Underground rally and all the people there are like, yeah, we love Lucha Underground. We love it. And we're going to kill all the Dutch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would say, okay, I'm leaving because these motherfuckers are crazy. Yes. <laughs> they want to kill all the Dutch. Mm -hmm. I would just leave. I wouldn't be like, well, I'm going to stay because I really like Lucha Underground. No, all of these other people are crazy. Mm -hmm. So I am leaving. I it's mean, just ridiculous. people are there just like, well, I was just there for a peaceful protest and I'm not sure why everyone's upset at me. Mm -hmm. Like I've, like I've said before, I mean, stay, see, cause I'm going to a rally on Sunday in support of Charlottesville. Okay. Yeah. What the fuck am I supposed to do if, if they start coming at us? You know, not punch a yeah. fucking Nazi. Yeah. This is so You're fucking ridiculous. I cannot even believe that we're talking about it. I mean, this is exactly what something like Charlottesville, what part of the reason is, is to get everybody else to shut up. So if you're not going to punch a Nazi, if you're not willing to punch a Nazi, then you're not going to protests and rallies. Yeah. Okay. And like I said before, Stay on your side of the street. Stay behind the barricade. Barricade. Let them bring the fight to us. Yes. But as soon as they come through that barricade, I'm going to defend the living shit out of my... You know what I realized during this? And this is, this is kind of a positive. All right? Okay. I have realized that I have 53 years of suppressed rage <laughs> built up in my body. Yeah. And there are Nazis. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I feel I have the potential to possibly become the incredible Hulk. Nice. I, Very nice. I, I think I will lose control. All of that rage will come, come finding at, come, flying out and I'll come to and there'll just be all these bodies around. Yeah. Eleanor's waving at you, by the way. Hi. Just to let you know. Yeah. Bonnie says but, hi. Bonnie says hi. That's if they come after me. If they come after me, if they come after mine, it's all fair. How many, yeah. how many people have to die? How, you know, what has to happen before people say, you know what? It's okay to punch a Nazi. And there have been so many situations over the last however long Donald Trump has been president. There have been so many times where he has caused a scandal and then I say, well, this is definitely it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is finally what takes him down. Yeah. But and I've always been impressed with the right's ability to play off horrible things that Donald Trump does. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Okay. But we're not talking about when we're hearing from the right now, we're hearing from whoever they can dredge up. Yeah. You know, because Trump has now pissed off just about every single... He's left with the alt-right. That is it. Any sane Republican has already denounced him. You know? Yeah. Any Republican who voted for Donald Trump at this point has finally walked away. And it's down to what it's always been, what we've been trying to tell you for two and a half motherfucking years. Yeah. 
it's funny because like in between Charlottesville and Trump saying that the Nazis and Ku Klux Klan members are really nice guys, yeah. there was a period in time when I had like a moment of clarity and I realized, okay, this is exactly what we thought would happen if he was elected. Mm-hmm. And what we all said would happen uh-huh. when he would be president. It's like, wait a second. Uh, Nazis are marching on the street. Uh, people are being killed. We're on the blink of nuclear war. Our president is under a federal investigation. Yeah, no, this is pretty much it. Yeah. This is pretty much exactly what we said was going to happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, we're right. here. This is exactly what we all said. Oh, no, I mean, if only this could have been predicted by somebody. Yeah, yeah, this is exactly so, what... The entire left side? Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, no, 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 no. He, the, the, the fault of Charlotte is, of, of Charlottesville is the dreaded alt-left. Yes. Oh, no. The alt left. Well, you know what? We are now. Fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Thank you, America. You have radicalized me. Okay. Fucking, I didn't want that to happen. (laughs) Right. What? You watched that uh, Vice documentary? Yes, I did. Uh huh. Was that girl? Yes. She knew the literal only reason that she was protected was because she was white. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she I mean, and she backed she, up on herself a couple of times. You know, she, where she would start asking a question, then she would reframe it to so not then, have yeah. this guy go psychopathic yes. on him on her. Exactly. She was so scared. But then the after video, the one that came out yesterday, not by Vice, the one that the dickhead put out himself. Did you see that one? No. Oh, Tasha, you, you, you. The one where the guy's crying. Oh yes. Oh yeah, I was oh, telling you about that. Yeah, I, I, telling uh, you about that. I saw something on Twitter about it, but I haven't watched it yet. It's like really, you you go and cause violent crimes, and then. You're gonna cry about wanting to be yeah. wanted. Yeah, and he's calling. Yeah, he's calling like the 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 police department, trying to figure out if there's a warrant for his arrest. And they're basically like, "Why don't you come on down and we'll figure this out?" <laughs> and he's all like crying because of the evil left. Like we were just there to be peaceful. It's so it's so wonderful. It's such a wonderful video mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to see this guy crying because now- the evil left ruined their Nazi rally. But whereas I do believe he was crying, there's a good amount of cocaine involved in that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's and he considers himself a right wing uh, shock jock. Mm-hmm. When was the last time we had shock jocks? You know, I don't know. Is that I? I don't know. I. I I, I did not that know was, that that term had fallen out of common usage. Well, when was it? Like, like, I'm trying to think, like, when was the last time that anyone mentioned Howard Stern in a non-America's Got Talent Yeah. Uh, uh, framing, you know? Yeah. And when was the last time that anyone cared about or talked about shock jocks? I didn't think that was a thing anymore. Yeah. Radio is also corporate now. Well, I mean, it takes a lot to shock. Yeah, it takes a lot to shock people now. Like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like that Onion article where Marilyn Manson's just going door to door to try yes. and shock people. Yes. Like, shock talks don't exist now, especially when at any given second we can easily get on the internet and within you know, 30 seconds see a, an ISIS beheading video. <laughs> yes. So how is some guy on the freaking radio supposed to shock me? Mm-hmm. Ridiculous. Oh, you said so, the word vagina. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
I can literally <laughs> see vagina. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, me and Homeless, uh, it, coming up in the next hour, Homeless Mike is going to throw baloney at a stripper's ass. <laughs> oh my god, shock jock. And, and good lord, let me also say, the fucking Civil War was about slavery. Oh no, oh no. Civil War was about um, what the Civil War was really about. Uh, your uh, uh, cosmopolitan bias is showing, buddy. Let me tell you what the Civil War was really all about. There was a group of people who were like, hey, I like the color blue. Mm -hmm. Blue is the best color. Yes. And then the, this other group is like, no, gray is the best color. Yeah. And then they decided to start killing each other over it. That's what the Civil War was about. At the end of the Civil War, they're like, okay, blue's the best color. Oh, and what should we do about slavery? I guess we forgot about the blacks, seeing as this entire war wasn't about them. That's what the Civil War was about. That's what I learned the hard way yeah. on my Facebook page. <laughs> yeah. That, that, was, that, yes. was a, that was a fun morning. Read. Like, Go ahead. Yes, honey. You have give me some war. I'm getting closer to you. Sorry, it's okay. Get some war, right? You got you got the blues, you got the reds, whatever. The blue and the gray. Blue and red, Confederates, and Confederates lose. But yeah, they still they still fly their flag. Yeah. But that would be like Americans lost. But we still fly the flag of England. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Dude, just stop. Give it up. It's a part of our history. Yes, that's why history books. Facts! That's why history books are there. That's yeah. why we teach our kids these things. We don't still fly the fucking flag of England. There's no reason well, for it. You know why? Because we fucking won. Well, we won our independence, and the North won. The South lost. Burn the fucking Confederate flag. Well, now they always they always scream during this argument. Learn your history, you know, and not from no liberal scholars. Okay. Oh yeah. So I have. So I have now. So I have now read. I have now read the. Um, Articles of Secession, and the Confederate Constitution. I know there's also a brilliant speech given by the Vice President of the Confederacy, and they all, all, all talk about slavery all through it. It is all about slavery. I know, because I had to read That's them. fucking history, bitches. I had to read those for one of my history classes, and I was in the room with Eleanor, and Steve was out here in the living room, and I kept screaming at Steve about how fucking terrible white people are. Mm -hmm. And still are. They were and still are. Like, nothing has changed. Yeah. Some of the shit that's in those books, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. God, I'm so ashamed to be white. I'm terrified. I'm terrified that this shit's happening today and you know what i'm white so the fact that i'm terrified should just that's not even a fraction of what non-white motherfuckers feel right now oh no white people are also persecuted honey you have no idea oh i'm so I've sure i'm learned. so persecuted well i mean if any of those all Facebook. right motherfuckers found out i was married to a mexican and dirty yeah. fucking wet bag yeah yeah they'd want to lick me too my mm -hmm. bag is only wet because i recently had a shower and his like hair being... is not completely dry so it keeps dripping yeah i like being clean for the podcast yeah, which just I don't understand why, but it just makes me feel it's better. It's a ritual. Yeah, it's a ritual. Yes. Yeah, you're eating nothing, but you're just eating a piece of bread. What are you doing? So, um, yeah, it's a depressing fucking time in America. And 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 when when Charlottesville first happened, the first thing that came to my mind was, um, I was right. Mm-hmm. That was the first thing that came through my mind because so so many times here on the podcast we have talked about it's like mark my words, bunny. 
white uh-huh. people are panicking because they know that in uh, five years, ten years, twenty years, they are no longer going to be the majority. They are no longer going to be the predominant people in the United States. It's going to be blacks and Mexicans. They are going to be the majority, and white people are slowly but surely uh, going away. Mm -hmm. And so they're going to start panicking, and they're going to start freaking out, and just watch, because some shit's going to go down. And I, so when Charlottesville happened, it's like, oh, okay. So yeah, no, that, that's, that's me. That's this podcast. This is exactly what I thought was going to happen. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. While it's, like, it's and we've said it many times. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very many, many times. It's just. Good. It's sad. And, and I was at work. And when um, Donald Trump defended the Nazis and these white power neo-Nazi motherfuckers, mm-hmm. it's it's it, 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 it they they're calling themselves like the alt right and uh, you know giving themselves these nice new fancy names. But basically, okay, okay. Well, wait, wait, wait a second. Let's just stop there for a second. Let's just clear that up. You know, first off, the terminology doesn't doesn't make that much of a difference because birds of a feather and shit okay but the alt-right is technically the organization that richard spencer started okay so that is his group as opposed to your other neo neo nazis and uh clan groups and things like that that's the thing they're fucking uniting unite the right as far as I can tell from the rally at Charlottesville, um, Nazis and skinheads uh, are now hiding yes. among us. That back in the day, you could tell who was like a neo Nazi skinhead because they had, you know, a, like a buzz cut and a Nazi tattoo and an iron cross and, and yada, yada, yada. And they were really angry, had spiky clothing. Nowadays, it, it, as far as I can tell, a large amount of them just look like they just came back from the golf club. And a, a lot of them look like just IT people well, or possibly the dad from Napoleon yeah. Dynamite. Yeah. But, they, but, but, but they're still... Skinheads. They're still they're still neo Nazis, and they're, they're dressed as they're, Donald Trump. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. doing. They do. They, they're going to kill us doing fucking Trump cosplay. Cosplay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But the Nazi fucking sympathizers. I have to. I have to come back to this because I just got into an argument with a guy over it. You know. It. it what Nazi sympathizers are saying to me, okay, is don't hurt them, they'll get mad. Yeah. That's that's what I am that's exactly what I'm hearing now when somebody is is, is taking the don't punch a Nazi view. Yeah. Don't hurt them. You'll get them mad. Okay? Uh, Look, on one level, I get it. You're scared. I'm fucking scared, too. Okay? How the hell can that not terrorize, which is exactly what it is, any rational human being? Yeah. Okay? But they came for war. They came for goddamn actual war. And we are lucky that only one person died. God bless her soul. Yeah, we... we, Yeah, like... uh, Like I said, when... When when, uh, that person, who will remain nameless, uh, even though she's been talked about numerous times on this podcast, but anyway... I got into that argument with that person on my Facebook page. It's like, so what am I supposed to do then? 
Like, I understand that, that when I call these people Nazis and I call these people, like, skinheads and, and racist motherfuckers, I understand that that's not all white people. So are you telling me that when Nazis come, I'm not supposed to fight back? I'm not supposed to defend myself? I, I'm just supposed to sit there and take it because some of them are good? Yeah. It's like, no, you gotta fucking stand up. Mm-hmm. You have to stand up and fight this shit. Oh, but don't you understand? These aren't the Nazis from 1940. These are the good yeah. Nazis. These are yeah. the good Nazis over here. They're not like those. Yeah. What the fuck is that shit? I don't know. But. I mean, this argument was over the picture. I'm sure you've seen it. The guy is doing a Nazi salute and another guy is punching him. Okay. Yeah. I, I I was making the case that that salute in itself is violent enough. Yeah. That salute is violent. That salute is representing the death of over 11 fucking million people. Yeah. Okay. 11 million people. That is what that salute represents. Exactly. I am not taking it. Yeah, I absolutely agree with that. I I don't know. How are we having a discussion that Nazis are not bad? How are we having that fucking discussion? Yeah. I do not understand. Neither do I. But, um... Uh, I'm going to try and move on. I'm going to try and move on. I'm going to try and uh, continue on with the podcast. I've I've got a good show. About half of it, about 75% of it I wrote before Charlottesville. And uh, when we finally eventually get to the movie, it does sort of break down into angry rants about Nazis. So we will still be talking about this, but okay. Uh, here is, here is my suggestion. Yes. Okay. We call a momentary cut, not an actual break, a momentary cut. All right. Okay. And we'll both go watch a couple of videos of puppies. And in the show, I'll, I'll cut in a video of cute puppies. And then we'll come back. We'll be refreshed. We'll have puppies in our heart. Okay. So like a so like a small little brick. Yes. Okay. Well, um, I also have a fun game to start off this episode. Cool. I had planned I had planned this uh, game before Charlottesville, but now that Charlottesville has happened, I'm really happy that we start off with this game because I knew that we would be beginning this talking about the fact that Nazis exist again. And so I felt that this game, which is really super fun, I think, is a fun way to uh, get our minds off of things. Good. So I do have a game that we can play in the beginning, but... um, Puppies. Puppies first. Puppies. Puppies first. And cut.